Okay, so in today's math lesson, we're finding the area of triangles, except uh, today's triangles are acute triangles, which is kind of cool and interesting. Yesterday, we talked about right triangles and creating rectangles from the right triangles, but we can also create our rectangles from acute triangles by simply identifying where or how that rectangle is created. So which kinda, what's kind of neat is it's the same formula for all triangles or the area of all triangles. So here's my one half base times my height. And where does that come from? Well, that comes from it's saying that, yes, exactly that. That triangle is half the size of the rectangle um, that it creates. And you can kind of see it a little bit. Here's that triangle, which is identical to this or congruent to that triangle. So they have the same area. And this triangle has the same area as this triangle. So if I'm finding the area of the entire thing here, in order to find the area of the triangle within, I can just cut that in half. So either I can divide that total area by two or take one half of it. It's the same thing. So keeping that in mind, let me get rid of this big mess and just draw this again. What are the values that I care about the most? Well, the values I care most about are the base, right? Is the base here and that height once again, because that gives me the dimensions of the rectangle that's all the way around, okay? So if I need to find the area of that rectangle all the way around, I'm going to use the base, which is actually both of these values put together. A combined value here gives me that total base. This guy is 3.3 .3 inches and this guy is 6.1. So if I take my 6.1 and I add to that my 3.3, .3, I will get a four here and a nine so inches. So my total base, is my 9.4. Now my height, in other words, from distance from bottom to top here is my height is this value, my 4.4 inches. Now the 5.5 inches I don't need, that's a diagonal measurement. Um, it falls on that triangle, but it has nothing to do with the area of the rectangle in which I'm trying to find, okay? So let's plug things in. I have my area equals one half, the base, here's that base, 9.4 times the height of the rectangle, which happens to be 4.4, okay? So I can do a little bit of multiplying. Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit here, going to cheat a little. I'm gonna take my 9.4 and I'm going to multiply by 4.4 and I get a 41.36, okay? And I need to take half of that. And the reason, again, I need to take half of that is because I want the triangle. This 41.36 is the area of the rectangle. Okay, that's my 41.36. So in order to get the triangle that's within, I need to cut that in half or divide it by two. All right, so if I take my 41.36 and I divide it by two, that's going to give me 20. Okay, point six eight, and my unit is inches and squared. Okay, so that's the area of the triangle within. Okay, now the other thing that you could have done, which the uh, series or the curriculum uh, wanted me to show the class, and it was kind of neat, is to actually find the area of the little triangles inside the two triangles that make up the entire triangles. In other words find the area of this guy and find the area of this guy and then just add them together, okay? Same premise though, so whichever method you, you like is, is fine. So over here, if I have one half, one half my base times the height and over here, I have my one half my base times the height, okay? Uh, here's my base right here, so I have my one half 3.3 times my height, which is 4.4, like that, okay? And on this side, very similar. Here's my 1 half, except here's my 6.1 as my base, times my, I'm going to reuse that height, 4.4. And then I, uh, I work that out. So over here is my 1 half times that value or that product, and here is my 1 half times that product. So if I have my... Let's see, let me clear that out. Let me do the one on the right. So 
times 4.4, that gives me 26.84. Okay, and if I divide that by 2, or take half of it, I wind up with 13.42. Okay, equals, and that was inches squared. Okay, now on the left side here, I have my 3.3. .3. Let me clear that out there. 3.3 .3 times my 4.4, same height. That gives me 14.52. Okay, I need to divide that by 2 or take half of it. And I get 7.26. Okay, so 7.26. And again, that's inches squared. Now what I need to do here in order to find the area of the entire triangle is to add those up. So if I have my 13.42, or add those together. Here's my 7.26. I combine that, I get an 8 over here, and a 6 over here, and a 0 there, and a 2 over here. So here's my 20.68 inches squared, which is exactly what I got uh, earlier uh, when I solved that problem. Okay, so that's the deal, folks. All right, now, it's super quick. I'm not going to work this entire problem, but taking a look down, I see this guy over here, which is kind of cool. Now you have a couple of options. This guy here. If I need the entire area, it looks like I need to find um, a couple of different areas here. Fortunately, some of these guys are uh, the same size. So if I found this guy, the area of this guy, it looks like it, if that's the same area as this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So I don't have to run the formula four separate times. Just find the area of one of those triangles, and you found the area of four of them. And then simply find the area of this guy and combine all of your totals. Okay. Because it looks like this guy will be a 35 by whatever 24 and 24 gives you. That looks like it's 48 kilometers, which would be that total. So my 35 times my 48 gives me this guy. Okay. Um, and I'm not dividing that by 2 because that's a rectangle. But this guy, you would be cutting this in half because a rectangle you find is your 24. Looks like your 24 by 7 and then cut that in half. Okay, but you need four of those, so one, two, three, four of those. Or, I suppose, you could find the area of this triangle and just double it, right? So, find this triangle instead, okay? And you have two of them, one, two of them, okay? And then add everything up, and you get your total area, all right? Because combined area, all right? That's the deal, folks, all right? Have a great one. Take care. Bye-bye.